Hi everybody, I'm Alejandra, librarian at the Poinciana Branch Library with the Osceola Library System, and welcome to this week's live program. This week we're doing Art Hour, where I'll be teaching you how to make this stained glass effect on a glass vase. Okay, and this program is also available in Spanish in honor of Hispanic Heritage Month. So if you're interested in listening to this program in Spanish, you can go ahead and check that out. Before we get started, I'm going to just let you know what supplies you're going to need for this um, art project. So first you're going to need glass paint, obviously. Um, it does come in tubes like this or in bottles. Um, if you do grab a bottle, it is a little bit more convenient. But if you have it in tubes, you're going to need a palette and some brushes. Okay, and then you're also going to need a light or medium colored marker to trace your design. You'll need a liner paint in either gold or black. I'm using gold today. You'll need a glass vase. So this is just a regular cylindrical vase that I got from the Dollar Tree. And you'll need a design to put onto your vase. Okay, so we can go ahead and get started. So for the design, I'm gonna go with a simple butterfly design like I did on this one. But you can also find designs like this, this pretty tulip or a bird. I just Googled stained glass templates or stained glass pattern, and you can get something pretty similar to this. So I'm gonna go ahead and just curve that into my vase and then just secure it with a piece of tape so it doesn't move around in there. And then with my light or medium colored marker, I am going to trace my design onto my vase. You go ahead and take your time, make it nice and neat. And then the reason we do want a light or medium colored marker is because we want it to be easily covered up by the paint. So if you use something dark, like something black or brown, it would be a little tough to cover up with your glass paint since those paints are a little bit transparent. I do really love this butterfly pattern. It is nice and simple. It's not difficult to trace. Nice, simple lines. But if you are more of an art expert, you might be, you might want to go for something a little bit more complex. Let's continue tracing. Okay, and you do want to be careful where you lean your hand, otherwise you're going to smudge it a little bit. Been there, done that many, many times. This is the toughest part for me is the circle. But you can, if it's still wet, see, always wipe away if you make a little boo-boo. Making a nice straight circle, see? Uh, it's my Achilles heel. A a perfect circle. Go ahead. And it is a little bit easier to just do it in like little lines, the circle, instead of just trying to do one big circle. And then our second circle. Yeah, I think these come out just so, so pretty. They make great gifts. And I've done this on a, on a mason jar too, and it's super, super pretty. And taping down your design does help because when it moves around, it's kind of hard to find your place again. go it's not perfect but it's okay it doesn't have to be perfect as long as you have just a general kind of idea of where you want your design to be so I have my design fully traced and then I'm just gonna go ahead and leave the paper inside and I'll take my brush Oops, actually I'll take my liner paint first and then give it a good shake in case it's separated and then just go over that line Um, it would be a good idea to practice your liner paint on like a piece of paper or a napkin or something first. Because especially if you have a brand new one, a lot comes out at once. So I would go ahead and practice first. 
just so you can get the hang of it. And then you just want to trace your entire design in your gold or black liner paint. I think this would look really pretty with black too. And then the same thing, you want to take your time, make sure your lines are nice and straight. I mean, if they're not, it's no big deal. But if you're a perfectionist like me, you want nice straight lines. Okay, so you go ahead and trace the entire thing. For the purposes of this demo, I do already have one that is dry and ready to paint. So as you can see, this one is now nice and gold and dry to the touch. So now at this point, you can grab your glass paint and just fill in all your little shapes. And this paint is quite transparent, so you may need more than one coat to make it opaque. Or you can just leave it transparent. To me, that looks really pretty too. And then make sure you do have a, a napkin handy to just wipe your brush between colors if you are using um, a brush in a palette instead of the bottled paints. And some Q-tips. Q-tips are always super handy, especially if you're a little bit of a messy painter like me. Okay. And then you're pretty much just gonna fill in your entire design with the glass paint. And then this glass paint does take at least 24 hours to dry, but once it's dry to the touch after about a day or so, you can um, wash this by hand. I wouldn't put this in the dishwasher. So as you can see, like I said, it is very, very opaque. But for the purposes of this demo, I do have one that is all completely dry again to the touch. And this is all one coat of paint. So I will go ahead and just put a second coat over here so you can see how, how it looks once you have a second coat of paint. Because you can see with one coat, you can still kind of see through it. There's spots where there's not paint, which I don't mind personally, but so you can see it does even it out a little bit more if you do another coat on top of dry paint. Just make sure you let your first layer dry completely before going in with another layer. Okay, and then that is going to be our finished product. I'm just going to leave it like this with just one layer of paint. And we're all done! Thanks for joining us everybody. As a reminder, our next live program is going to be September 23rd. And that's going to be our make and take program. So for next week's make and take, we're going to be doing these dotted mandala designs. We do have our make and take kits available at all Osceola Library starting today. So make sure you go ahead and pick up a kit and join me next week when we make these, these works of art. Thanks so much for joining us. Make sure you check out osceolalibrary.org for more information about our virtual programs and our other services. See you guys next time.